Imogen is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future. Control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. like the heat rock. Heat's damned useful in my line of work. You can make space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prod from old rock. Go up yonder and wake some up. You'll see. Getting around moose pools are six. But we don't end up cooked. that other thing. Wow. It's hot here. But is that snow? Ash. It only falls like that for great fires. The whole realm is a great fire. The source of fire itself, and all the sun and stars, if legend is to be believed. Should we believe? I mean, we're here, and we're not on fire. Not yet. Well, you know, I suppose it's cooled considerably since the dawn of creation, hasn't it? Niflheim isn't exactly ice these days, either. It's in the nature of things. Extremes are tempered by time. Fires burn colder, men grow old and grey, heads are chopped off and attached to belts. Such is life. Uh, okay, Mimir. You better not be fighting with your brother again. Just because he's gotten a little less annoying over the years doesn't mean I ain't got a customer base of my own to keep happy. Oh yeah? Who's that? Well, you came back here, didn't you? Fair point. Here, boy. 
another one. This one's called Suriter. Must be a fire giant. Aye, the first and original. He makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin. But is that the past or the future? Hmm, that may be a matter of perspective. It's a great big sword. It wants to know if we're ready for train. The gate's closed. Prepare yourself, boy. Yes, sir. Roger, behind you! be nice to find some incense just once. The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. than before. It is 
not the time for this. Aw. So what'd you find out there? Come back soon with more crap you found. seem familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. No, I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the Serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Going in or what? Ah, Niflheim. Not sure why anyone would want to come here, but here we are. It smells bad. <clears throat> what is this stuff? This mist is cursed. Cursed? Quite right. Safe to breathe for a time, but it'll kill if we linger. Just one more reason to love Niflheim. Boy. Sir. Let's see. What is that stuff? Weird. Yes. A strange material.
Ah! Fancy seeing you two here. I'm surprised you're here, Sindri. This mist is pretty gross. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. I'm trying to build some armor that will lessen its effects. The materials I need are all right here in Evaldi's workshop, but they're blanketed by this nauseating mist, of course. Wait for it. The last known location for such armor is in the workshop center chamber. The entrance is sealed, but I could craft you an entry stone with enough mist echoes. There it is. I wouldn't recommend staying in the mist for too long. That stench will stick to your hair, your weapons, your armor. And I will not touch your gear until you burn all the tiny beasties off in the fires of Muspelheim. Also, it will kill you. There's something written here. This whole place shuffles around each time we leave? That's incredible! Atreus, focus. This is a dangerous place. That's dwarven creativity for you. Impressive and dangerous. <laughs>